So a lot of people wanted me to touch on takedowns and takedown defense. So you see me with Anderson Silva and I cannot be taken down. Now how do I do this? You just hold R2 or right trigger on the Xbox and down on the right stick. Now when this happens, it's all about timing, man. Basically when somebody grabs your leg, you want to hold R2 slash RT and down on the right stick. And this goes for every position, in the clinch, not clinch. This is how you stop takedowns, R2 slash RT and down on the right stick. Now let's talk about regular takedowns right here because a lot of people don't do them. You can do regular single leg or double leg takedowns by pressing L2 or LT on the S spots and rotating the right stick. And also the chances of getting your opponent to the ground is much higher when you do a regular takedown. Now talking about slams, now let's talk about slams because a lot of people do the slams, they don't know about the regular takedowns. But if you don't know how to do slams, you hold L2 slash LT and L1 slash LB and rotate the right stick. And you will slam your opponent straight into side control, which is pretty helpful because once you're in side control, you can have a lot of options. You can go to full mount or just rain elbows down on your opponent. But I recommend only doing slams with probably Greco Roman style fighters or just straight up wrestlers just for, you know, the authenticity. Now, when going for takedowns, you want to be creative because it's easy to stop takedowns on EA Sports ULC. So I wouldn't recommend going for straight takedowns. You just gotta go for takedowns when your opponent least expect it. To be honest, I like to go for takedowns while I'm in the clinch, mainly because my opponent won't be expecting the takedown. If he's expecting the takedown, of course, it's gonna be easier to stop. So you wanna get creative with these takedowns, get in the clinch, then take them down, or get your opponent up against the cage and go for a trip. Those are the best ways to get your opponent down to the ground, in my opinion. That's what worked for me anyway. So let's jump into an actual match. This is online championship, and this is why I tell you to be careful when you go for takedowns, because there's actually moves that can stop a takedown. There's kicks and punches that can stop a takedown. And if you keep going for takedown while catching these kicks and punches, it's not going to end well for you. So you see right here, I'm just spinning through the takedown. Of course, I'm stopping a few, but I know my opponent wants to go for a takedown. So I keep throwing the same kick and you see how that ends up for him, right? So you can't become predictable with takedowns. And when it comes to takedown defense, you want to be fast. You want to have these quick reflexes so your opponent can't get you down to the ground. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. If you have any suggestions down in the comments below, I can cover pretty much anything you want to know. So just let me know. I got your back. Holler at you all later. Peace.